Alright, so in this video we're going to look at Newton's Law of Cooling. And it says the temperature of an object T in, surround, in surrounding air with temperature T sub S will behave according to the formula. T big T of T is equal to A times E to the KT plus T sub S where T is time a is the difference between the initial temperature of the object and the surrounding temperature. Okay, so T that's the initial temperature. That's the that's the temperature that the object starts out at, and T sub S that's this that's the surrounding temperature, the temperature in the room, and K is a constant, the continuous rate of cooling of the object. Okay, now this formula here. Uh, I mean, you may see it written different. Instead of the A here, you may, they may have this in there. Instead of A, it might be T minus T sub S. But, you know, it's all worked the same. All right, so let's take a look at the example. So it says a turkey is taken out of the oven with an initial temperature of 165 degrees and is allowed to cool in a 75 degree room. After half an hour, the internal temperature of the turkey is 145 degrees and it says use Newton's law of cooling to write a formula that models this situation all right so let's identify our variables and everything but first let's just go ahead and write the formula down again so we can see what's going on okay and we know that A is equal to T minus T sub S. All right. So in this formula, we have T is equal to, well, that's the initial temperature. So T is 165. Okay. See, a turkey is taken out of the oven with an internal temperature of 165. That's the temperature it started at. So that's 165 degrees and is allowed to cool in a 75 degree room. Okay, That's the surrounding temperature. Okay, So that's T sub S is equal to 75 degrees. All right. Now it says after half an hour the internal temperature of the turkey is 145 degrees. Alright so what information does that give us? Well after half an hour it's 145 degrees. Well this is Newton's law of cooling. Okay, So remember T is time. So if we plug one half in for T, little t, and we evaluate this, we should get 145 as an answer. So what that tells us is that T of one half, because that's the time, the half hour, is equal to 145 degrees. All right, so now let's use all of this information to get our model. All right, so we've got A, E to the KT plus T sub S. Well, we need to figure out what A is. Well, we know that A is T minus T sub S, which is 165 minus 75. Okay, so 165 minus 75, that is equal to 90. And yes, this should be an A here. Okay, so A is 90. All right, so now let's just go ahead and plug everything in to our formula. Okay, so I'm going to evaluate I'm going to evaluate this function here at t equals one half. Okay? So we have t of one half is equal to a and what's a? It's 90 times e to the kt. Well, we don't know what k is. See, that's what all this information here is for, is so we can figure out what k is. So 
Now I need to plug the one half in for little t, so that's one half k plus t sub s. Well, t sub s is 75. Okay. Now notice I plugged the one half in for little t here, and that should equal just like this says. See, t of one half, t of one half is 145. All right. So now we need to solve for k. See, I have an equation here. This equation here, I can solve for k. So I've got 90 e to the 1 half k plus 75 equals 145. So I get 90 e to the 1 half k equals, and then let's see, that's 145 minus 75. That equals 70. And then I get e to the 1 half k equals 7 ninths when I divide both sides by 90. All right, so now what do we do? Well, we've got to solve for k. So remember, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. That equals natural log of 7 ninths. Okay. So that gives me 1 half k is equal to natural log of 7 ninths. Now, remember how we get 1 half k here. Remember, we have a property that says the log of b to the x, well, let's, let's do it like this, x to the b with base b is equal to b. So remember, if the base of the log, I'm sorry, if the base of the log, it should be written b to the x, if the base of the log and the base of the exponent are the same, then your answer is your exponent. Okay. And remember, natural log of E is the same thing as log E with base E. Okay. And see, I have natural log of, of 1 half K. And since these are the same, that's my answer, my exponent. Okay. All right. Now, multiply both sides by two, so I get k equals two natural log of seven ninths. Okay, so you can leave it like this, or you can punch it in your calculator. Let's go ahead and just punch it in the calculator. So I've got natural log seven divided by nine times two, and that gives me negative point five zero two six two eight eight five seven. And I'm going to round this to four decimal places for the video. Okay, uh, you know if you're working on this, you may not want to round that number, but I'm just going to do it for the video. All right. So now we know what k is. Okay, we know what k is. It's negative point five zero two six. So remember, our function is, well, let me write k back up at the top. All right, so, so we've got k is equal to negative 0 0.5026. So now I can get my function t of t, so t of t is equal to a, which is 90, times e to the kt, e, and here's k, negative 0 0.5026, times t, plus t sub s, plus, and then t sub s is 75. So here is our function. This answers part A. Use Newton's law of cooling to write a formula that models the situation. So here's your here's your model. Okay. All right. So now let's look at B. And I'm going to go ahead and erase all this and just leave the function, uh, so we can have some room to work up here. All right. So here's the solution we got in part A. Okay. This is our solution for part A. 
Now let's look at part B. To the nearest degree, what will the temperature be after 50 minutes? Okay, well, that's easy. All we have to do is plug the time in here for T. Okay, the time in for T. So notice they give us the temperature in minutes. So T is 50 minutes, which is equal to, and we need to convert this to hours, 50 over 60 hours. So that's 5 sixth hours. Okay, so we're going to plug 5 sixth in for T. So for part B, that's T of 5 over 6, and that's going to be 90 E to the negative 0 0.5026 times 5 over 6 plus 75. And then all we do is plug this into our formula or into our calculator. All right, so when we plug that into our calculator, we get an answer of 134.2 degrees. There's a bunch of other decimals, but this is rounded to one decimal. And I know this says to the nearest degree. So we would say that the temperature is approximately 134 degrees after 50 minutes. That would be the temperature of the turkey if it was just sitting there in a 75 degree room. All right, so now that's part B. That was easy. Now let's look at part C. And let me erase this. All right, so part C says to the nearest minute, okay, how long will it take the turkey to cool to 110 degrees? All right, now one thing that I want to point out here is the way that we got this function, this model here, is when we did the time, we put our time in hours. So that means T is in, in hours, okay? Now, we could have, we could have used 30, okay? Remember when we were solving for K, instead of plugging one half in for T, we could have plugged in 30, and so T would have been in minutes. And then that way when we did B, Instead of evaluating T at 5 over 6, we would have evaluated it at 50. Okay, that's the difference. And now this is asking us to solve, and they want to know what the time is in minutes. But keep this in mind, that when we solve for the time, that's going to be our time in hours. Okay. And so since they want it in minutes, once we get our answer in hours, we'll have to convert that to minutes, okay? So, you know, it's kind of good also to look at, you know, they're giving you everything in minutes, so maybe we should have done our model in minutes. But I wanted to do it in hours just to point that out so you'll know to pay attention to, to the to the if you're using hours or minutes to find your model okay but I just want you to know it works either way if you use T equals one half that means your time is in hours if we would have used the little T for and put in 30 then our time would have been in minutes in our model okay so but this is no big deal because it's easy to convert from hours to minutes and minutes to hours all right, so it says to the nearest minute, how long will it take the turkey to cool to 110 degrees Fahrenheit? So basically we want to know when will this model equal 110 degrees? So all we do is we set it equal. We set it equal to 100 to 110 and then we solve for T okay and it's going to be similar to the way that we solve for K all right so let's solve let's get this one by itself so we got 110 minus 75 so that's going to give us 90 equals negative 0.5026 T equals 35 
So e to the negative 0.5026t is equal to, and that's going to be 35 over 90. Okay, 35 over 90. All right. And then we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So natural log e to the negative 0.5026t is equal to the natural log of 35 over 90. And we can leave it as 35 over 90. That's no big deal. Or if you wanted to, you could reduce this reduces to 7 over 18. Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. And so remember what we talked about, the natural log of e to a power, that's negative 0.5026t is equal to natural log of 7 over 18. And so t is equal to natural log of 7 over 18 divided by negative 0.5026. And so t is, so let's punch this into our calculator. And that is going to give us one point, let's do eight, seven, nine hours. Okay. Now, they said to the nearest minute. Okay. Well, this is our solution in hours because remember how we found our model. We did it in hours because we let t equal one half. So this is the same thing as t equals 1.879 times what? 60 and that will be in minutes if you if you multiply hours by minute by si if you multiply hours by 60 that gives you minutes and so here t is let's see that's 112.7 minutes which is approximately 113 minutes and we rounded it up because they said to the nearest minute okay all right so i hope this video helped uh give me a like subscribe share check out my other videos and thanks for watching